Morning guys, it's Saturday. Thought maybe I'd do a little bit in the shop before I do some work in the house. Still a mess. But, I thought today might be a good day to move some things around and test out a new phase converter. So, if you watch some of the other stuff on the channel, when I got the uh, witch on, I was having a problem with my uh, uh, 10 horsepower phase converter running it. It was a homemade converter. And so I picked up this American Rotary ADX15 um, off of offer up, and it's fantastic. I mean, it works great. Um, relatively quiet. I don't know if you can hear the motor. I've got a mic on, kneeling right next to it. Relatively quiet, but a while back I purchased um, off of eBay. Again, it's going to be hard for me to get to it right now because probably should have laid everything out. This is the difference between the real YouTubers and this home shop guy here. But I picked up this Phase Technologies. This is the Phase Perfect. This is the uh, Phase Perfect, was it the P010 or PT010? It's a 10 horse um, digital phase converter. And uh, let me. Uh, let me wheel this thing out and uh, give you a better look at it. Oh, while I'm over here, moving this thing out, check this out. So here's the, the Wichon, of course, um, and here's the uh, compound, huge compound. You know, basically this thing was basically new when I got it. And uh, you can start seeing little scratches and stuff, which is gonna happen over time, but um, I picked this up, I did some, uh, I helped out Tommy down at uh, Greer Machinery, he's the Wichon dealer here in SoCal, he's in Huntington Beach, and instead of uh, him paying me, he gave me this, um, he, he actually has them uh, to sell, but I think he wants like 150 bucks for them, um, but they're CNC aluminum, it kind of rocks a little, perfect, fits perfect, rocks a little bit, on mine because of the uh, oilers. So I think what I'm gonna do, as you can see, right here's where the one oiler is. Oops, sorry about the noise. And here's where the other oiler is. So I'm just gonna double check the, I'll get a thickness uh, measurement on this. I can feel it though. It's, it feels like it's probably like a eighth of an inch, maybe even uh, thicker. Um, than an eighth, but it should be enough to to clear this so that it sits flat. It actually has set screws, but I really don't feel like running the set screws in. So I'm gonna do that so it just sits flat and it'll just sit there and it'll be great for setting drills and taps or little, you know, little parts. Uh, you know, right now I set the drill chuck key there. Anyway. I was just moving the stuff so I could get this thing uh, out and show it to you. So, but I wanted to show you that. All right, so here it is. Um, it's pretty big. I mean, I don't know the exact dimensions, but it came with, uh, it's like new. Came with uh, so manual. This is. Oh, when I bought it off eBay, it came with a um, a, a transformer, and uh, and it's basically like new. But I figured I could probably sell the transformer. It's a takes 240 and drops it down to 208, um, and it's a 15 kV transformer. 
Um, really nice. I figure I'll put that on like practical machinist or offer up or something like that. The inside of this thing, very well made, very <laughs> spaced out. It seems like they could have put it in a much smaller enclosure. You can see uh, this little partition, the back, this back part is only about this far into it. So halfway in, so I don't know what's behind it. Well, actually, you know what? I do know what's behind it. I can look down here. There's uh, cooling uh, fins. There's fans down in the bottom, not up here, but you can see some electrical back here. Maybe like power supplies or something. I don't know. Who knows? It's magic, right? Basically, what I know is 220 single phase comes in here, 223 phase comes out there. That's what I know. And has a little readout. So I don't exactly know where I'm going to put this thing, but I figure right now I just want to see if it works. I haven't even plugged it in yet. I also have another little project that I need to do today. This is a part for a uh, wood planer. This uh, slides in like a little hole, should be a slip fit. And then this gets ground to a point and it stops the uh, uh, the cutter head so that you can sharpen the blades and uh, uh, a friend of mine asked me if I could make one and uh, the guy on the old woodworking website had dimensions but he said this was a half inch so I made it 0. .4980 and mailed it to the guy he said it does not quite fit. So, guess it wasn't a half inch. Well, temporary power's hooked up. I moved the uh, American rotary out of the way. Man, this thing's big. Um, I didn't run it through. They have openings down below for the wires to come through, but this wire that I was using for the American rotary is too big to fit through, and it's just temporary, so. It's hooked up. I'm going to go ahead and turn the breaker on. Uh, sorry, my mic uh, fell off. Um, hopefully. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I turned it on and this fan kicked on for just a, a second. The fans down below are not on. I don't know if you can read this or not, but it looks like it says uh, 244 volts pretty much throughout. So the switches are off. Uh, I don't know. So I'm not sure if I've got power. Oh, well, let me do this. Turn my three phase breakers on. All right, so now, okay, let's see if we got power coming through. Okay, so, I mean, the power's shooting through, so let's, uh, this is 710, which is no problem. That seemed to fire that up without any hesitation. All right, so let's try. Come on, there we go, okay. So, this it should be 1010. I'm telling you, that's firing it up pretty quick. I mean, that's almost instant on. 
you know that's that's turning it on a lot faster than the the uh, american rotary again no problems with the american rotary though it uh is really nice okay so 1800 would be there and there this is locked in all right let's try 1800 That uh, that did not seem to hesitate at all. How much time do I got left on this thing? All right, I got a little bit of time left. Let's see if there's any way I can set this thing up so that it is, you know, maybe right here. Um, when I turn the, the machine on and off. Okay, so I put the uh, mic right here on the camera and it's showing the volts and everything. Current output. Okay, I'm gonna turn it on to 710. And there you can see the output is at 10 point, or was it 8 point? Okay. That seems to be handling it no problem. I assume the fans will kick on when it needs it, but let me turn the lathe off. It looks like uh, this is a, su a success. Seems to be working just fine. So I guess now the, the next step is gonna be to figure out, figure out where exactly am I gonna put this uh, big old beast. And then you know, I'll just use it and see if I run into any kind of problems in the short term. Um, uh, this is uh, where my sub panel is, and so I'd like to keep it as close to that as possible. But, you know, since I didn't realize I was going to be getting something like this, this is right by the garage door where you can see the track is. So it limits me on if I want to keep it close. Let me back up a little. Um, that breaker panel above it is a, a three phrase breaker panel that I got. In case I wanted to wire three phase in the garage and run different circuits and things like that and in reality you know it's just me out here so I pretty much run everything off of one circuit so I could probably actually get rid of that I mean if I get rid of this I still have the light switch right here um, and the garage door opener but I could actually I'll have to uh, check the dimensions um, I'm, I could actually just put this right here underneath and just have it down on the ground um, and it'll it'll fit right there uh, the only problem is is that's where I had the I had the Burger King sitting right next to the welder there and I could probably move the welder it's on wheels rolls around pretty good and I could put the Burger King over there I'll figure something out anyway I'm rambling now so uh, this is the uh, 10 horse face perfect and uh, seems to be good to go. What's gonna happen with my uh, 15 horse uh, American Rotary? Um, I like it, I'll probably keep it. And uh, 
hang on to it in case I need it as a backup because of something, you know, just for a while at least until I know I'm really comfortable with this. Uh, I'm real comfortable with rotary phase converters, but this uh, new, this uh, face perfect is new to me. So, but I do love the silence. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.